What's going on, everybody? It's Antonio from Akari Press. We're on the Indiegogo, $63,930. Santana Baby Triple Cover Pack is, of course, still ongoing. If you want it, head on over to Indiegogo or just type in AkariPress.com. It'll take you right there. Link, of course, is in the description. Oh, man. All right. So yesterday, the city of Chicago had given uh, Jesse Smollett's attorney, uh, they gave him a deadline. They feel like Jesse Smollett should reimburse the city for over one hundred and thirty thousand dollars that they said that they spent investigating the hate crime that apparently uh, did or did not go down. I have to say allegedly because I know Jesse got good lawyers, man. So, well, Jesse's lawyers decided to respond to that. They not going for it. They said, uh, let me let me get into it. Uh, a defiant letter. By Jesse Smollett's lawyers warned the city against suing him for police overtime costs in investigating his alleged stage attack, saying the Empire actor, quote, will not be intimidated into, into paying the demanded sum. The letter from celebrity attorney Mark Garagos obtained by the Tribune went on to caution that Smollett's legal team would insist on questioning Mayor Rahm Emanuel, police superintendent Eddie Johnson, and other key players in the whirlwind legal saga if the city pursues a lawsuit. Quote, in light of their apparent vested interest in the matter, we are confident that Mayor Emanuel and Superintendent Johnson will not object to providing their testimony under oath, Garagos wrote in a letter dated Thursday. Mr. Smollett's preference remains, however, that this matter be closed and that he be allowed to move on with his life. Now, there's a whole big official statement that Mark Garagos put out online. But yeah, Jesse say he ain't going, man. He not paying y'all that hundred and thirty one plus thousand uh, dollars. So if y'all investigated that and, and y'all didn't get nothing on him, that's on y'all, man. But uh, <laughs> I just was like this. When I saw this, I felt like he should have just paid him. You know, dude, you 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 beat 16 counts and you got off uh, for, quote unquote, allegedly uh, staging a hate crime. And you got to walk away scot-free, bro. I don't know. Um, I understand you got to listen to your lawyers and everything. But if you can get out of this and just pay these people and move on, I mean, you making over, uh, what, at least over a million something dollars a year acting? Just go on pay these people and go on about it, man, because I suspect they're going to try to come back and get you, uh, get you again. Uh, I, I heard the feds was looking in, seeing if they could get something on you. So, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know, man, but you, hey, that's what you pay your lawyers for, man. I'm not a legal, uh, you know, I'm not a legal scholar, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. And if you guys want to reach me, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and right here on this YouTube channel. Everywhere is at Akari Press. And if you type in AkariPress.com, it will take you directly to my Indiegogo campaign for my comic book series brand with the phenomenal Kanan White. We're on Teespring. We're on Amazon.com. The links to those are in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm out.